Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of On Point. I'm Richard Kerr, Senior Director of Travel here at Built Rewards. Excited today to teach you all about the Aeroplan Stopover Rule. challenge today is going to be how do I book a single ticket that sees more than one destination for minimal cost. Before we dive in, if you love learning how to maximize travel, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. With that, let's dive into Aeroplan. Let's dig into the Aeroplan program a little bit, which is of course the loyalty program of Air Canada, but also a Star Alliance member with over 45 airline partners. That means you can use Aeroplan points to book tickets pretty much anywhere in the world. Let's go into the screen. Uh, you'll be able to see everything that I see as we go through. This is the Aeroplan flight reward chart. What I really like about the Aeroplan program is they've made this pretty simple. What they've done is they've divided the world into four different regions. And the way the Aeroplan prices your reward tickets is based on if you're traveling from one zone to the other, or if you're traveling wholly within a zone here on the first chart we see within North America. Based on how long the physical distance of your flight is, you can quickly decide, hey, how many points is this going to be if I'm flying one of the 45 partner airlines or Air Canada? What Aeroplan allows you to do is on a one-way or round-trip award ticket, you can add an additional destination for only 5,000 more points. So what does this look like in a practical example? Here I'm on the award chart for travel between North America and the Atlantic zones. This is basically North America and Europe. You'll see most flights are between 4,000 and 6,000 miles in distance, which means a business class flight is going to cost you 70,000 points. Let's take an example itinerary of New York to Istanbul via Frankfurt on Aeroplan partner Lufthansa. If I want to fly from JFK to Istanbul via Frankfurt, which is Lufthansa's hub, it's going to cost me 70,000 points. What I can do is add a stopover in Frankfurt for 5,000 points. So for the total of 75,000 points, I'll fly from New York to Frankfurt. I can stay in Frankfurt for up to 45 days, which means I can explore all the areas around Frankfurt. I can take trains around Germany. I can see as much as I want and then carry on to Istanbul and stay there on my one-way ticket as long as I want. If I were to book these flights separately, the flight from JFK to Frankfurt would be 70,000 points. And then we would scroll down to the award chart that says travel wholly within the Atlantic zone. And the flight from Frankfurt to Istanbul is actually 1,100 miles. I cheated and looked it up a little bit earlier. But that means I would pay another 25,000 points for business class, which means I would be paying 90 5,000 points if I book this separately. I've saved myself 20,000 points and I'm able to explore two destinations instead of one on the ticket. Stopovers are great. There's actually a few additional rules that we do need to cover. With Aeroplan, stopovers are not allowed anywhere in the US and Canada. When you make your routing for a stopover, you actually need to travel in one direction. You can't backtrack. So let's say I couldn't go from New York to Frankfurt, backtrack to Paris, and then go to Istanbul. It's all got to be in one direction for each ticket that you book. And with that, it's pretty simple. The one caveat here I'm going to tell you is you cannot yet book these online. The capability will be there later in 2022, but for now that means yes, you're going to have to pick up your phone and call a real live human agent. It's going to be a little bit weird, but I promise it's a lot easier than you think. Tell the agent your Aeroplan number. They'll confirm you have the number of points and that you followed all rules for booking a stopover. And then they will send you a confirmation email with your booking number so that you can confirm everything was booked correctly. It's going to be fine. Your friends are going to want to know how you did this. It's our little secret here on On Point, but there's a lot of really cool destinations and itineraries that you can book with the Aeroplan Stopover. Hope you learned something today with the Aeroplan Stopover Ticket. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. You can always submit a challenge or a question to us on social media that I might cover on the next episode of On Point. See you next time.